uh, so much so that I dropped out of school. Um, told my mother that I wanted to be an actor, and she basically, well, she wanted to throw me out of the house, but she, you know, she, she wasn't going to do that. But she said, "Not on on your life," you know. It's completely <laughs> insane. Um, Was she right? Is she totally right? Of course, my mom's <laughs> always right. So I dropped out of high school, and uh, a neighbor <coughs> suggested this little acting class in Maryland called the Maryland Academy of Dramatic Arts. And at 15 years old, I used to take the bus uh, and down to, to, to study there with an old man named Ralph Tabakin. And I studied there for about a year. Uh, Ralph, you know, was very old school, and no Strasbourg, no nothing. He, he himself did vaudeville. He was an older guy. And he also did radio, um, television. He's also, if anybody's interested, in, in every one of Barry Levinson's films, you'll find Ralph Tabakin, my teacher. Um, he was like Barry's good luck charm. You know, he, he, he showed up in a small part in all of his movies, um, from Diner to Young Sherlock Holmes to Wag the Dog. And, uh, and Ralph, you know, gave me some really solid advice, but it was really, to, even to my 15-year-old uh, brain, and then I think I turned 16 um, when I was studying with Ralph, it was still, I was, there was something missing, you know, from what from what I felt this potential could be. Although, Ralph turned me on to guys like uh, Montgomery Clift. You know, and being a guy from Maryland, um, uh, I, I, I had, had no knowledge of guys like John Garfield or Montgomery Clift. Um, of course, I think I'd seen James Dean by then, but, but that's, that rang a bell inside me, where I was like, something, something is more, there's something more to this, this puzzle. And that's when I did a little research and found the Lee Strasberg Institute way the fuck out in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm shocked you didn't end up in New York. Yeah, I did, I, I sure did actually, also. I did actually go to New York. Oh. I went to New York, I applied at the school, I got into the school, and then I thought to myself, as a, I'm 16, well, first of all, they told me you have to be 18 to be in the school. So come back when you're 18. And, and I was like, well, fuck, that's a fucking long way away. Um, uh, so I went home. And then uh, pretty soon after that, Ralph called me up at a, at a hardware store that I was sweeping floors at and, said, and he said, Tom, there's these Indians in town. They've given me a call. And they are looking for a blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid to be in their movie, you see? And I said, you mean Indians like cowboys and Indians? Yeah. No, no, from India, with the dot. <laughs> <laughs> now, you go down there, I'll give you the address, and you get the part, you see? And I, want, and I, and I get 10%, because, <laughs> because I'm acting as your agent in this regard. So you go down there, you, you get the part. I said, Ralph, I, 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 there's a problem. I go, they were looking for a blonde haired, blue eyed kid, but I don't have blue eyes. My eyes are like, you got blue eyes now. You go down there and you get the part. <laughs> uh, and, and so I dutifully uh, did that. <laughs> and I um, ended up in a Bollywood in, 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 uh, movie yeah. with uh, this wonderful little Telugu film star who hated me. But I got my first brush with stardom from this lady who, who uh, you know, didn't want to be in America and didn't want to speak English. It was really interesting. We were supposed to be in love and doing this Romeo and Juliet kind of story where our parents hate each other, so we run away together. And we filmed all over the country. I'm 16 years old. And then we all packed up and went to India, where I lived for five months. Um, Finished up that movie, actually did another little Indian movie while I was there, and they offered me an apartment, a car, and a woman. <laughs> that work? As, as payment. Uh, and, and they wanted me to stay there and, and do Bollywood films, you know? They, they called me Mr. Tom, and I was gonna be the, uh, the Hollywood, uh, you know, the white, the white kid in the, in the Bollywood films, you know? Which I considered, you know, for for a while, but, but you know, I, I was homesick, I was 16, and five months is an off, awfully long time when you're, when you're young like that, and uh, so I went back home, and to make a long story short, that's how I then packed up my 1969 convertible Camaro and drove 
out to California. Yeah. Um, and uh, I parked the thing right outside here <laughs> on, on uh, Hayworth and uh, um, got arrested that night <laughs> and thrown in jail um, for vagrancy because some guys had called and said there's a bum sleeping in, his, in a car out, out there. And uh, of course, I didn't have no a registration bother. to prove the fucking car was mine, and so I was in jail. And, <clears throat> and I got out of jail, and, uh, and then, um, and then I, I sold my car uh, for about 800 bucks, and I, 1969 Camaro, 800 fucking dollars. So, so you got robbed. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and I turned around and I gave the money to the Lee Strasberg Institute and I started taking whatever classes I could afford. And that's when Hetty found me. And Hetty uh, let me live because she saw that I was taking a bus from downtown. I was living in a welfare hotel downtown. And I'd take the bus up here to, to class. And Hetty one day said, you know, something about, you know, lunch or, you know, how you, and I said, no, I can't, I don't have lunch, or something about a ticket, I brought a ticket out of, she goes, what's that ticket you have in your pocket? Uh, we're doing some exercise and my shit was all out. What's that? And I said, oh, this, this is a ticket. Uh, I think everybody was explaining something in their pocket. I, I said, this is my lunch. I'm gonna go up to the Salvation Army and I'm gonna hand this ticket in. It's, I can't lose it because this is how I'm gonna eat today. And, uh, and then Hetty uh, basically took me under her wing and, and, and let me live in her, uh, her lawnmower shed. <laughs> <laughs> Which was fan-fucking-tastic. Did you have to mow the lawn? I, yeah, sure, I mowed the lawn, I, <laughs> yes, I, I walked the dog, I babysat her kid. Uh, um, yeah, whatever, whatever she needed. But I was, I mean, I was in heaven. I got to have breakfast with her Stefan. husband, Stefan. Uh, who they used to exchange boogers? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That'll be the activity for later. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can have a whole little. Thing. Uh, it, it, yeah. He he used to wake up in the morning. He used to wake up. He used to wake up in the morning, doing his fucking, you know, relaxation <laughs> shit. Not you know, not me as a. Well, I was like 17 or 18 years old. I was like, wow, that's fucking dedication. <laughs> <laughs> Little that I know, it's just old age. That's what, you gotta, that's what you gotta do in the morning. <laughs> but it, it was great. It was extremely formative for me, you know, and the, and the classes here. And then I ran out of money, and then uh, Anna and, and Hetty uh, ar arranged for me to have a scholarship here. Uh, so I became a full time student. I wasn't even a, a full time student at that time. So, you know. Obviously, um, everything that I, it changed my life in, in all the ways that I wanted it to, to be changed. You know, I, I really did uh, get introduced to uh, what acting uh, was, uh, what acting could be, uh, what, what, where, where it has been, where it could go. Um, we seem to be at a little bit of a standstill now as far as where acting can go, but let me ask you about that. There's hope. Let me ask you about for you personally, you know, because obviously now, listen, you, you got the nominations, you got, and we've got to love HBO, right? Thank goodness for HBO. Sure. Um, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing some good work. But you're never done. So what's there for you? I mean, you still, you feel like you're still growing? Are you, uh, are you still as passionate today when you're actually on the set acting, or, or is it? Yeah. Business? I mean, I'm. You know, you, you run across all kinds of people. Uh, professionals who are working, you know, and, and there's all kinds of different ways to make a career out of this, you know. There's people who, who get paid and are very reliable and what Lance Lane called a meat and potatoes actor. You know, they, 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 they go from job to job and they work constantly and you'll see them in all the different movies, you know, and, and, uh, and, and that's, you know, a wonderful way to make a living and then there's, um, you know, you can move down from there to to people who um, get drunk and decide not to show up to set, and uh, to all the way to the other side where you have, you know, real artists who are who are exemplifying what what acting can be as an art, you know, as a creative art, as opposed to an interpretive art. You know, I'm sure you've had that discussion. 
Well, I, I like to think of myself as a, as a creative artist. I, I don't, uh, I, uh, I think there's a place for interpretation. Um, there's a place for all of it, you know, and it's really a personal, um, it's a personal uh, journey, you know. Um, but I will tell you that what you guys are doing now uh, is the bedrock foundation of what will hopefully be your, your entire lives and careers. You know, the work you're doing with, with Hetty and getting yelled at by Mark Marno. And, <laughs> and, uh, Once he decides he, to talk to you. I hope he's still as cratchety as he used to be. Yeah. <laughs> no worries there. Um, <laughs> and the, uh, you know, and the, the stuff you're learning with Hetty, you know, is this sort of very ethereal kind of stuff that I can can get, and, and but but also you know inspiring, you know, and it, this is like this is wonderful food, you know, for you guys, and uh, it will, uh, if you let it, uh, shape your your entire career. Um, uh, I like to think that it has shaped mine. I I know that it has. 